In the two previous segments, we saw how early Great Lakes bulk freighters had owner's rooms or guest quarters. Those were large 400 to 500 footers. But the fact is that even the small canal steamers, such as the Charles Beatty, made accommodations for their owners. Here's the Beatty's shipyard drawings. Sure, she was small, just 219 feet long, built to fit through the old St. Lawrence Canal system. But if we look at her top view deck plan, we can see that she had an owner's cabin and a private bathroom. Built in 1902, she worked the lakes until 1974 and was renamed seven times. Since that's the smallest and oldest example I have, let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum and take a look at one of the favorite ladies of the lakes, the Arthur M. Anderson, and see what sort of guest quarters this more modern vessel has. Once again, we get into her shipyard drawings. She was the second of three identical sister ships called the Triple A's that entered service for the Pittsburgh Steamship Company in 1952. Unlike the other vessels we've looked at in this series, the Triple A's had one huge advantage for vessel designers who laid out the cabins. These boats had the benefit of size. The Triple A's were all 70 feet in beam, and that provided plenty of room for her cabins. In this class of lake boats, the captain and guests had the entire Texas deck cabin to themselves. Here we see the captain's office. And here is the captain's bedroom. Next to it is the captain's bathroom, which has a tub, a sink, and a toilet all of which drain into the vessel's onboard sewage system rather than directly into the lake. Additionally, there is a stairway that leads directly up to the pilot house. Over on the starboard side are two identical guest staterooms. Each has two single beds. And each has a complete bathroom with a shower, a sink, and a toilet. Access by way of the forward stateroom is a very large guest sitting room furnished with a couch, easy chairs, some uneasy chairs, a card table, and assorted other things such as a stereo, video entertainment, and assorted card and board games as well as reading materials. The only downside is that the three Pittsburgh AAA vessels forward-facing lounge is provided with portholes rather than large windows. There's a good reason for that, as in heavy weather, the boarding seas can actually smash in such windows. Thus, portholes are a must. The other AAA class lake boats all had their Texas cabins arranged differently so that their guest lounge was facing aft. That allowed picture windows to be installed. Today, even huge thousand-footers have been equipped with guest quarters. Since their deck is about four stories off the main deck, a lot of the quarters face forward. Some others face aft. They carry on a long tradition of lake boats having rarely used, but really nice, guest quarters. And just in case you haven't had enough blueprints, I'm currently working on doing an entire version of the Arthur M. Anderson. So stand by for that one. It's coming.